Just like last time, we'll get started with questions for people inside, then we'll move on to Zoom. First question will go to Christopher Dorn. Coach, um, tomorrow night's game could feel a little bit like an away game, given the way Club America travels. Could you discuss what you've shared with the team and, and how you think it may or may not influence the match tomorrow night? Um, I'm, happy. I'm happy to play this game. Uh, the player knows that um, since the begin beginning when I took the team, I said that uh, on my way we want to approach the same game, the same, to have the same mentality. So it could be new for us to have uh, maybe uh, more fun. But I, I, I'm not sure about this because I think that our fans are going to be loud also. So it's going to be good. And, uh, and again, good exercise for my players to see uh, if, uh, again, like I told you, they can stay focused on the task, uh, knowing that it's going to be a good game, knowing that it's going to be maybe a, a different uh, atmosphere, I don't know. But uh, the approach is the same. It's the same. Try to be uh, details and try to be uh, 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 um, focused on us. Uh, we respect uh, every team, but we fear no team because this is the approach that I want to, to have with my players. And uh, the game will dictate what we're going to have to do. And, uh, this is the way we approach this game. We know the Columbus crew have an identity. A lot of clubs in Major League Soccer have identities. I would presume that leagues have identities as well. What, what sort of identity does Liga MX have and how is it different from Major League Soccer? Uh, you know, after that, uh, uh, identity is personal. You know, it, it, it comes with, um, first of all, there is a vision of the club. Every club, there, there should have a vision. Uh, and sometimes this is not always clear. But here I'm happy that uh, this is clear. And uh, that's why I'm here. And uh, after that, yes, I think that for, for me, a club works well when they are able to get a coach who fit the identity of the club. So this is the way I see it. So with the Mexican team, uh, we know that uh, their personality and also the, the way they play and uh, uh, they are really aggressive and uh, they, are, they are also really good players. And uh, tactically, this is also interesting because they are able to, uh, to, uh, to have different animations and um, I had the pleasure to face uh, different teams. <laughs> few years ago and also next year and uh, I'm really happy to play all the time against this uh, this Mexican team because uh, first of all it's a uh, we have to be strong mentally because the way uh, their background as a, as a player is strong so they are, they are really passionate for the game and uh, and so we have to be strong mentally and uh, also we have to we have to match the same intensity that they can put because this is the way they play, this is the way they are, and I love it. And also tactically because they have good players, they are able to do good things. So honestly, for me, uh, this is I'm really pleased to play uh, against Club America. Usually, I don't take I don't take too much at attention. I would say with the name of the team because, but uh, I have to say that uh, yeah, Club America, this is. Uh, so, so it's a good uh, story also. So the idea is to uh, compete. We're going to compete, and we'll see after that. I, I know that Julian has only been here a, a short amount of time, a brief amount of time. Um, how is it going in the in the short amount of time he's been here? It just kind of getting him, you know, uh, up to speed mm -hmm. with with your system and, and all the things that you want to do. Yeah, so he's been with us uh, since the beginning of the week, and um, like, like uh, what I like to do is uh, to leave the player express himself. If I can say it like this. So he's been playing, he's been training, and uh, the idea is to to see him doing what he usually uh, does. And today we did a meeting. Uh, we need to show him the. the the game model, because for me it was really important to see. Uh, we brought him because he can help us on certain things. So play, express yourself. And after that, after five, six days, we were 
available to have video from him during the week and uh, showed him what we wanted to do and uh, what uh, he has to adjust. So this is what we did today and um, he's happy to be here, I'm happy to have him and uh, now uh, he's going to start on the bench. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That is the first time all season we've gotten that update on. No, well, it's, this is an easy one, <laughs> easiest one for me because I like when a, a player comes, I like to give him time to see the way we play his life. So for, for me, it's really important that uh, instead of he could have started, yes, but the idea is to, uh, he has to feel the team, he has to see the way we play, and after that, he should be able to come in. Yeah. Um, merci for that, by the way. Um, <laughs> With him, yeah, continuing on that, it, how, is it nice to be able to have, whether whether it's tomorrow or the knockout rounds, to be able to you know get him on the field at some point before another MLS game? Yeah, for sure, it's going to happen. Uh, it's going to happen because, again, we this is almost the end of the season. <laughs> so, so everything will go fast. And uh, no, we, we bought him because he's going to be able to help the team to be better. But also, um, he's coachable. Also, uh, he, we're going to be able to make him better, I hope, with a lot of humility. And he's going to be better also because we're going to learn about him. And, uh, and yeah, this is a competition for me. It's really important within the players because this is a tool for each player to be better. So. I'm just curious, uh, Lucas played with Tigres and in his time with Tigres faced Club America 18 times and in only one game was able to score and it was a brace in 2017. Have you had any conversations with Lucas about maybe how personal this match might be for him given his history against Club America? Mm -hmm. You were, you were, you are really details in terms of goal and uh, so on. But maybe he was really good, but he didn't score. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. No, Lucas. Obviously, it's normal. It's like uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 it's like me if I play against a really good uh, French team. Mm -hmm. So for sure, I want to 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 be good. This is a special game. So so it's normal. So again, the idea was gonna be to uh, to enjoy first of all and uh, he's gonna have emotions like uh, every uh, human being but uh, the idea is gonna be also to control his emotions to stay focused on what he has to do on the pitch and uh, yeah he's gonna play his game and for me I'm happy that he's gonna be able to, to face with the, with the good team and the uh, Mexican team. Next we're going to go to the Zoom questions it'll be Gerald Lucas. Gerald go ahead. For me, I said it yesterday to my team, is to be resilient because um, they are able to, uh, to make uh, 30 passes, I would say, like us, but they are able also to make one or two passes to score. So it's going to be a, bat a good battle of power because sometimes we're going to have the ball and sometimes not. So when we will not have the ball, we're going to have to be uh, strong together and uh, try to win the ball back as soon as possible. And when we're going to have the ball, the idea is to um, try to uh, to attack the box and to play our game. So again, we it's going to be a, a good uh, tactical uh, battle. And then for our final question, we'll go to John Ufo. John, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, Wilfred, they, within the structure of their system, they have obviously many talented players, but Fidalgo and Sanchez seem to be two of the keys, especially Fidalgo. He can, seems like he's really good in finding space and getting in behind the uh, first line of the defense of the pressure sometimes. So with the fact that you want to make quick decisions and you know when you have the ball, pass the ball, always having someone off the field to anticipate you know the next move, do you feel like maybe just 
staying disciplined, being patient, closing down their space, particularly when he tries to make runs in behind the defense will be key. And then also, as I said, anticipating where the next man is going to be, maybe trying to spread their defense out, and then maybe at other times trying to make their defense compact to sort of keep them off balance. Do you feel like that will be some of the keys to the match? Yes, but I would say like every game. But the nuance about this game is going to be uh, to be uh, good. Uh, at the right moment, because like you said, there are really good players in every position. They are able to get in behind, they are able to keep the ball, we know that. So again, we are going to face uh, a team with uh, a different style of play, but uh, at the end of the day, to defend well, we have to be precise and concise about what we want to do. So it's all about the details, about the distance, the good distance to cover or to, to close down or to balance. <coughs> But also the good distance, also to when we're gonna have the ball. So again, um, we will not change the way we play because this is the way we play. But the idea is gonna be, like I told you, to be strong mentally at certain moment when they're gonna have the ball because we know that uh, they are really good players. But uh, it's gonna be for me, in terms of a tactical aspect, it's gonna be the, a, a normal game. Uh, but the big difference is, yes, they are really good players. Thank you. Just going to conclude today's media availability with head coach Wilfred Nancy. We invite you to join us at 5.30 p.m. for the Cougar America press conference. Thank you. Great. Thank you.